Hey, what's up? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the best Bluetooth speakers that I've ever used. And I haven't tested a lot of Bluetooth speakers, but when it's come to Bluetooth speakers and the budget price point, this thing is about $49.99, which is going to be a really good value. And so a lot of the speakers that I'm used to checking out and trying to get my hands on are north of $100. But the thing I like about this Bluetooth speaker is that it's priced at $49.99, which is going to make it extremely affordable. But if you're brand new to the channel, I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's go ahead and take a look at the features and some of the performance, battery, the sound quality, the microphones coming out of the speaker and a whole lot more. But make sure you guys stay locked in to the end of the video. And if you're brand new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. But let's go ahead and unbox it. First, it's going to come in a white box with all the specifications about the speaker. It's going to give you some key points that you need to know. And then when you lift open the box, it's going to be giving you a user manual as well as a quick start guide. And it's going to give you some pairing tips as well as some key functions. It's going to tell you some of the specifications as well as some guidelines and how to actually use the app functions. Inside the box, you're gonna be getting a lanyard that's gonna be really nice and convenient because you can actually put this on a handlebar, on a bike, maybe a backpack, and just put it on your wrist or whatever. But it's really good for travel. You're gonna get the buttons on the top, the you know subwoofer on the back, four feet to lay it flat on its back, but it can stand as well. You also do get your type C to type A cable. Now this speaker is very lightweight. It's very portable. It's, you know, it comes in a black color, but they don't give you any other colors to choose from. So I definitely think this is gonna be a nice solid speaker all around if you wanna use it indoors, especially because it's able to fill a room with really premium sound, which sounds rich, dynamic, and clear. And it's also has a bass quality to it that drags, which is really good for when you're listening to drill, trap, R&B, and rock and heavy metal. Now, it does have that strap that I talked about, the lanyard, which fits comfortably at the top, letting you be able to move around and commute with this thing, travel with it, and also basically carry it everywhere you go. And I didn't have a hard time downloading the Tozo app because they actually placed that on the user guide as well as the box. And so all you have to do is go into the Google Play Store if you were using an Android and download the Tozo app, which is gonna give you a lot of features for the EQ settings that I'll jump into in a little bit more detail. And I will be testing out the microphone, so make sure you guys stay locked into the end of the video. But as far as getting this thing paired to a smartphone, it was very straightforward. One of the things that I did notice is that they give you about a half a dozen presets that you can make and save in this thing, but they also gave you about a dozen of them right out of the gun that would actually give you the ability to tailor the music and listening experience customizable to the way that you would want it to actually sound. And getting back to that EQ setting on the top, they do have the volume up, volume down, the parent button, the turn off and on button, and then the EQ button, which actually toggles through three different modes, the normal mode, the bass heavy mode, and the treble mode. And so when I was listening to music on here, watching videos on here, playing games, and a whole lot more, I found myself wanting to actually experience the audio quality out of here, especially because it's going to pack a punch. It also does give you the ability to use it in water or dust or anything to that extent because it's IPX7. So I was picking this thing apart heavy and I couldn't really find something major about it that I didn't like. One of the things that I did find that I didn't like was it couldn't pair up to separate devices at one single time. You could only pair it to one device at one time. But one of the pros was that you could pair it to another PA1 speaker. You just couldn't pair it to like any random speaker. So I just wanted to throw that out there. But overall, the dynamic sound from the drivers was really crisp. It has a 67 diameter speaker, which is going to give you exceptional bass. It's going to be powerful and wide sounds and especially the range, especially when it comes to lows, highs, mids, you're going to hear that bass thumping and it's going to basically vibrate very heavy. And so that's something that I do like while um, 
enjoying my music but i really did want to emphasize how good the sound quality is on here it's going to sound exceptionally well we're going to get into the battery endurance as well as the charging speeds too but when it came to the overall stereo sound quality it's delivering superior 2.0 stereo speaker quality and it's going to pack an exceptional you know background range and overall vocals mid tones and dynamics Hey, what's going on? So this is the microphones coming out of the Tozo PA1. So let me know what you guys think about the overall sound quality when I'm talking through this thing. And what I'm gonna actually do is turn on a little bit of sand noise so you can hear a little bit of background noise. But let me know what you guys think about the microphones when it comes to the Tozo PA1. Would you use it for conference calls or anything like that, especially if there's like wind or background noise? But this is just to give you an idea what the microphones sound like, okay? So the Tozo PA1 speaker definitely has a lot of features that I really do like. It has 25 hours of long endurance, giving you the ability to use it on a single charge and it'll last a complete day. So you're getting an overall, you know, all day listening experience that's just gonna last throughout the day so you won't have to worry about charging it up. When you're taking it outside, it's gonna have that premium you know, Bluetooth quality sound, which is gonna be very, very immersive. I do really enjoy the app controls on here because it gives you the ability to customize the sound effect from here. You could also add your own equalizer on your smartphone and increase the overall, you know, bass or customize it. And that 20 watt powerful output with the high volume from here is going to sound crazy because it doesn't have the distortions, even out loud volumes. This thing will thump. It has a really loud woofer on the back, which is going to sound extremely good. And if you do actually purchase another one on the side, you can pair them up and they call it the twin link stereo sound which is going to basically double the sound quality and the sound stage and that's something that i really think i would enjoy if i did get another one now some of the things that i do want to highlight before i get out of here is the long battery life it gives you 25 hours of you know play time on a single charge it also does give you two and a half to three hours to completely charge it from zero it does have the tozo app support which is also really good with nice clicky buttons that are very easy to find and the you know it does have that parent option where you can combine two of these to make the sound quality double so i do like that fact about this thing i also do like the fact that you can use it with an iphone an android a computer a tablet a notebook or any Bluetooth enabled electronics. You could use it outdoors or indoors, and it does have IPX7 waterproof resistance, meaning that you could basically take it anywhere without having to worry about this thing getting damaged in the element. So if you're the type of person who just wants to upgrade your old speaker, I could definitely say this for me was a solid upgrade from the Bluetooth speakers that I was using and it actually blows it them right out of the water. So I could definitely recommend the Tozo PA1 Bluetooth speaker. But if you stay to the end of the video, just type down below, I'm still here so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just wanna remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. And I'm gonna check you guys. I'll get right back with you later crew, peace.